Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so I decided that I would make a video today and this video is going to be about the top video editors, uh, video software that I use for my YouTube channel. Now, this all actually started, the whole idea of me doing this video started because for the past two years I have been struggling to get a good piece of software that would do video editing for me. And not that there is no software out there but um, all the hyped up software in fact I have gone through so many YouTube videos with people recommending uh, video software um, that I have been actually really disappointed using the actual software that they have recommended and so what I would have taken two years to learn you will learn in hopefully five to ten minutes I don't plan to make this video very long um, so yes I've been struggling a lot particularly with video editing and basically because video editing takes up a lot of the time believe it or not even if you think that my videos are really really lame and I'll tell you that a lot of time is actually spent uh, doing the post-production of the video you know um, like the cutting out of the scenes etc which you may not even notice is being cut out uh, that takes a lot of time and resources and not even that but the fact that after you do all this editing you have to convert the actual video um, into a format that YouTube will like and so forth. So that conversion also takes a long time and it's just basically waiting and waiting and waiting for this video to finally be finished and then of course waiting again to upload it onto uh, YouTube and all the other internet channels outside there. So the first, uh, the first software, oh by the way, all of this is going to be very quick. I'm not going to be showing a lot of screenshots etc. And you might say, well, that's because I'm doing this video halfway. No, actually, it's because the screenshots are going to actually help you. And I want to try to make it as short and sweet as possible. So at the end of the day, you will get the best piece of software that will do it. Now, the reviews, I'm actually on my phone here with my uh, points that I want to make. But particularly, I want to start off with Sony Vegas because that's a really popular one. I have actually tested Sony Vegas. I think it's 13.0. And um, a lot of people swear by this piece of software. A lot of video editors swear by it. But I have um, had a lot of challenge. Firstly, the interface is so terribly ugly that um, it really turns me off as I open up that interface to be able to work with it. And, you know, simple things like cropping and zooming and stuff, it takes like two and three clicks just to do something. And I thought... Why why make it so complicated? But anyways, I mean, it's really, really complicated. It's for those who, you know, maybe doing like movies, etc. And you have to get things down to the T. But, you know, for a lot of the YouTube videos outside, um, outside there, and maybe for you, if you're new, uh, you don't want a complex piece of software. So I would say that Sony is a fairly decent one. And I'll put it at number four uh, today in recommending um, to you guys outside there. So if you don't have Sony... Uh, Vegas you could also you could try Sony Vegas but I hope that you stay tuned as I go through um, a few of the other video uh, editing software that's outside there so Sony Vegas is fine also I noticed that to convert videos Sony Vegas took a, a, a pretty long while especially when you add you know text effects etc it took a long time to render these videos and you know as I said I am not the most patient person outside there and so when it's something is taking like forever and you see like, you know, and, and the thing is, I'm actually using fairly decent, um, fairly decent hardware specs. So you would expect that, you know, it's going to, you know, move through. At, I don't expect it to be super fast, but move through and process at a fairly decent rate. And so that's why um, if I had to recommend it, it goes for four. So number three that I have here is Adobe After Effects and Premiere. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Adobe Suite of Software does a lot of media um, design and a lot of people swear by Adobe software. However, during the use, I found it very feature rich, but very complicated to use, especially After Effects. Now, Premiere is dedicated to video editing, while After Effects does video editing plus effects to that and it takes a lot of programming to do effects etc so i'm talking about two in one here but i want to say that let's go for the basic which is which is premiere so premiere allows you to cut and paste and maybe do some green screen stuff etc um and it and it does it well but i didn't like how laggy it was it uses a lot of resources 
on a computer and I wondered why so much resources? Why does it take so long to generate the video that we want to generate? So um, <coughs> that started to turn me off. And then of course conversion took on a, a long while as well. And um, the same thing is applied to, um, to After Effects. After Effects, of course, does a lot of computer-generated graphics and CGI, basically, um, to make your video stand out. So you could do like effects of explosions, etc. Um, but as I said, it takes a lot of programming. It takes hours upon hours to do these things, unless you're a professional and you do it on a daily basis, etc. So uh, I put them at number three because of the fact that they're a bit slow um to generate they use a lot of resources your computer sticks I, I, a lot of the times i would be playing back and you know it would take a while to render the video before you could even play back piece of the video and that's the most annoying thing to me to be able to um have to wait just while editing to wait on that um now there are additional features like you could buy certain hardware that will work with um the adobe premiere uh software but it doesn't really I mean, the amount of money you'll have to spend for a new YouTuber out there, I wouldn't really suggest it. Um, until you know you get popular and so forth, then you could go ahead and do that. So moving on very quickly again, I want to talk about Pinnacle Studio. I was so surprised when, when, I, actually, um, when I actually started to use Pinnacle Studio. I was so surprised because comparing that to the de facto standard, which is the Adobe products, I was surprised that Pinnacle Studio actually performed better. It actually was able to do effects uh, a little bit faster. It still had to do rendering. Uh, it was a little bit buggy. Sometimes you would be rendering something and you will edit what you were rendering and the renderer would just stop completely and you have to save the, <laughs> the project and restart the project. And obviously, as you can imagine, that's going to be very, very irritating. And so while pinnacle studio is really good that was one of the things that i i didn't like of course render time as well i have to tell you render time remember this is coming on as number two render time was faster than adobe which was shocking to me i thought that you know adobe would have render times down to the you know because especially it's a, a it's expensive so if you would expect that maybe uh what your the price that you pay for you'll get the results that you require but that wasn't the case and so um <coughs> i had to I, I, I was pleasantly surprised with Pinnacle Studio. So if you, you, you actually get Pinnacle Studio bundled with a few um, pieces of software outside there. So that's maybe the first possibly semi-free one that you could probably use. Um, I wouldn't suggest it for starters. So I want to go to number one, which is the most important one here today. And I only discovered this one recently. It's by a company called Wondershare. And um, you might laugh because it's cheap software. It's actually really, it's fairly cheap compared to, you know, Adobe and all the other pieces of software outside there. I actually got it on a discount and it's called Wondershare Filmora. And um, previous to using Wondershare Filmora, I used their previous version, which was some Wondershare video editor or something. And um, it would render really fast. It was fairly simple, but I had a problem rendering drone footage with it, you know, especially since the drone spins around really fast. And for some reason, when I was using the old version, the old version was a bit, you know, jerky. And so that jerking, you know, a lot of my YouTube video, uh, a lot of my older YouTube videos may show that little jerky um, effect. Uh, not effect, but side effect. Um, but with the new version, I actually tested it out. And it's actually only today I tested it out. And you, this video will actually be produced with Fil Filmora. And um, <laughs> you'll see that uh, when I actually tested it out, it was... It, it, it was able to, it, 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 they, they, they solved the problem of that, um, that jerky feeling. And so it's really smooth and nice. So that was one of the things that I really, really like. It, was, it has a really, really simple <coughs> interface. It also comes with green screen effects, etc. So the interface allows you to drag and drop um, your videos in, add titles, add music, um, add effects and so forth and it does it in near to real time it does have a lag but it is in no comparison to the lags that i have seen from all the top pieces of software and the other thing is that i am actually not advertising for them i have no affiliation with them i don't make any money from them um uh unless of course maybe i may have an affiliate link if they do but i don't even think that they have affiliate links etc but i would suggest it it was <coughs> i got it on a on a sale for 
40 US and I think it's going to be worth it because I get lifetime updates and also you can download some additional plugins. You can actually download special plugins. So they are free plugins as well as paid plugins as well that you can download from Wondershare itself as well too. So there's a lot of cool things. And the most important thing for me is being able to take this video and not spend hours upon hours editing the video. Spending a few, you know, some time editing the video, adding my effects and so forth, but really getting these videos out to you guys. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Uh, I hope that it's going to help you guys. And um, if it does, please post. If it doesn't, you know what to do. You could also post as well. Please like and subscribe. If you didn't, you know, you could dislike it. That's fine. Uh, please let me know. Um, what you didn't like or what you liked about the video if you agreed if you didn't agree and i hope to see you guys again soon thanks very much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel and click on that alarm bell it's important that you click on that alarm bell subscribing doesn't mean that i'll be able to post my notifications to you guys but that alarm bell allows me so as i post you'll be able to see a new video outside there so thanks again for your support and i'll see you guys again soon Bye bye